Getränk ab hier. It's not a big place. Tiger like tank should kind of be obvious, shouldn't it? December 1944 sign. You cannot see any museum. Can't see tractors. See a sign for one up to the right, so let's have a look down here. I'm not sure what this lady's doing. December 1944. Oh, here we go. There we go. Now that is a tank. That is a tank. But there's somewhere to stop now. This could be just about any village in Europe. Or in uh, Belgium, as it happens, except for this. Remnant of World War II. They should have the engine sound going, that would really be scary. Right, Tiger tank up close. So, first of all, the armour. Oh, I do have small hands, but you can see. How thick that is. It seems to it's angled on the side. It helps deflect you on. So it's just as thick on the back. It's always especially in computer games, it's always the back is the weakness, but it looks just as thick on the side. Right, I'm six foot tall and I'm holding it, that's my head height. how high it goes. Now these panels are a lot thinner, they're only a quarter of an inch thick. Oh, they got some damage. There's a little piece of bit of damage there. Oh, a lot of damage on the front here. Let's cut a blast through there, isn't it? Another one underneath the machine gun position. It's obviously been repainted since '44. Um, the panel's quite thin. The turret and the uh, gun barrel's got quite a bit of damage. Must have been terrifying to look at. Let's go down this side. There's some minor damage again on the side there. Quite a lot of damage again. Some small, small fire damage. That's the 
tiger tank. And just a final bit on this, which is a lot of information here about the tank itself. So it says that um, this was the a tank belonging to the King Tiger 2, number 213. It's defending the Vermont Farm High Ground, a strategic position on the outsides of La Glise. It was used by Platoon Command Tank by SS Oppensturmfrauer Wilhelm Dollinger. Yeah, that's him, apparently. And it was, um, the Americans were abandoning or clearing the town and they, um, the inhabitants and traded the tank for a bottle of cognac. Um, but these are very good, perfect couple of pictures. Now that's the tank. The turret looks, um, sorry, the gun looks very really short on that, but you can see from here it's been blown off. That's number 213. If you look at it on this photo, you can just see the damage that's on the uh, tank there. There's some black there, obviously being blown up. And apparently, um, I'm not going to... Well, actually, it's this building here. And this, well, this building here. Is this building here? If I quickly walk around, I hope he doesn't back into my car there. Anyway, yeah, there we go. So that tank was there. That's where it was blown up. So it hasn't actually ended up far from where it was destroyed. So that's uh, so long to uh, Legolese. Legolese, I think you pronounce it. Um, just a final comment, is if you do come in <coughs> this area and you have got a lot, a lot of money, there is a quite spectacular little shop there that sells original World War II merchandise. And um, now I've seen quite a few of these places, especially in Normandy. Um, and I have seriously not seen such a wide selection of real quality stuff before. Seen that telegraph line still, or is it a tele? Oh, there is an event on here by the look of it, some sort of fate, um, so maybe it's something to do with that. Anyway, <coughs> yeah, this is the, the, and we're not, no, we're not talking rusted equipment, I'm talking um, really, you know, used original colours, German, American, uh, uniforms. Bullets, artillery pieces, um, uh, the shells, shell casings, and then lots of bits of uniform of American and German officers and soldiers. Um, admittedly, when I say you need to have a lot of money, you're talking hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Whoops. There's the scenery again. Try not to run off the road at the same time. Um, Really, really good stuff. Um, you know, some of, if you take it as example, some of the, the steel helmets were were 800 uh, euro. Um, some of the belt uh, buckles and pieces like that were hundreds of euro. Good condition. Lots of choices. Very expensive.